We're going to work through a quick problem to calculate the natural abundance of two isotopes from their masses and the average atomic mass of the element in question. The average atomic mass of copper is 63.5463 atomic mass units. It has two isotopes, copper 63 and copper 65, and here are their atomic masses. So if we want to find out what the natural abundances are, we need to know two equations. First is uh, the average atomic mass equals the natural abundance of copper 63 times <clears throat> the mass of copper 63 plus the natural abundance of copper 65 times the mass of copper 65. We also know that the natural abundance of copper 63 plus the natural abundance of copper 65 must equal 1. Therefore, we can say that the natural abundance of copper 65 equals 1 minus the natural abundance of copper 63. So now we have the ability to express our whole equation with just the um, natural abundance of copper 63 as our unknown. Let's write that out. So the average molecular mass equals this first term is unchanged. The natural abundance of copper 63 times the mass of copper 63 plus, now it's 1 minus the natural abundance of copper 63 times the mass of copper 65. Now if we algebraically expand out this term and then rearrange everything to solve for the natural abundance of copper 63, uh, we will get the following. The natural abundance of copper 63 equals an, a fraction, the numerator of which is the average atomic mass minus the mass of copper 65. And then the denominator of that is the mass of copper 63 minus the mass of copper 65. Now we know the masses of those two isotopes from the problem uh, up, up here, and we know the average molecular or the average atomic mass also from the problem up here. If you plug in those numbers and crunch them down, you get that the natural abundance of copper 63 is 0 0.6915. And if you take this value and plug it back into our expression for the natural abundances, that means you've got, you know, um, the natural abundance of copper 65 equals 1 minus 0 0.6915 or 0 0.3085. So these are the two natural abundances of the two isotopes. This is how you would break it down if there are two isotopes. If there are three isotopes, you generally need to know the natural abundance of at least one of them in order to keep going.